GameRacks presents 10 gaming hacks every gamer should know. These are some tips and tricks that aren't all necessarily hacks per se, but are designed to make your gaming life a little bit easier. And if you haven't subscribed already, do it. But let's get into it with number 10. This is more of a standard feature, but it's still a trick that not a lot of people know about, using the Vita as a PS4 DualShock controller. If you're in a bind and you want to play with a friend and you don't feel like dropping 50, 60 bucks on a new controller, you can use the Vita in remote play as a second controller. This works for pretty much all games on the PS4 console and all you have to do is enable remote play and then sign in as a guest. And honestly, once you get used to it, the Vita isn't that bad of a controller. Sure, you gotta deal with the implementation of L2 and R2 with the back touchscreen, but once you get used to that, you got a second controller for free. Or, well, not for free, if you bought a Vita. You know what I mean. Number 9. This one's a bit more weird and outside the box, but it's more of a physical hack, opening up an old controller and storing a flash drive in it to store games. This is a pretty sweet way to have a controller that you can bring around and plug into a friend's computer or your laptop on the go, and be able to play all your games because they're loaded and stored conveniently in your controller. And if you're a real computer hacking genius and a master solderer, maybe you can use this for your PlayStation and your Xbox too. There's a bunch of instructions plastered on the internet and on Reddit, and I linked it below to try and figure that out. Do it at your own risk though. Number 8. This might seem like a freaking no-brainer, but to a lot of console noobs, maybe it's not. Wired internet connection is key. Get an ethernet wire and plug in your console, dummy. It's really the only way to improve your ping and reduce lag. I mean, you can put tinfoil on your wireless router, but we've, you know, you don't want to look like a goof. But if you're serious about how you play your games, you should have wired everything, and you'd be surprised how many people don't actually know this. Number seven, embrace the game mode feature on your TV. Game mode is a screen setting feature on most modern TVs that allow you to remove input lag and in turn minimize the visual lag between the game and the screen. So if you're a hardcore pixel perfect person about getting headshots in Call of Duty or something like that, game mode might be the way to go. While some TVs it doesn't really make a big difference, some it does. So it's definitely worth checking out and tweaking your settings to get the absolute visual best from your TV for your game. The easiest way to do this and get the absolute best settings for your TV for your game is to take the serial number from your TV and Google it, because honestly there's probably a ton of people on forums that have tried to do the same, and you can figure it out from there. Hell, you might have spent a thousand dollars on a TV, you might as well get it looking absolutely the best for your game console, right? Number six. Be an absolute baller and buy your games on the go. If you're a busy person on the go with a job, a wife, two jobs, a divorce, maybe some stupid kids, you want your games ready to go when you come home at night, downloaded and ready to play. Well, thankfully, with the new console generation, you can spend money with your eyes closed. Both the PSN app and the Xbox Smart Glass app allow you to purchase games, and if you link the account on the actual app with the hardware that you have, you will be able to wake up your system and download your games while you're out and about dealing with your divorced wife or your two kids or your job. It's really the best way to maximize your playtime instead of coming home purchasing a game and watching it download forever. Number five. If you own any range of PC, Mac, or maybe even a decent Android phone, emulators are a way to play some older games. Just note, downloading emulators and ROMs are technically kind of illegal, so we're not condoning or endorsing any of this, but we are just talking about it because it's out there and people use them. For playing classic NES games, JNES is the most popular emulator, and for Nintendo 64, Project 64. For PlayStation, many people use EPSXE, and for PlayStation 2, a lot of people use PCSX2. There you go, emulators, you can use them, you can play Pokemon on your phone, you can play Super Mario on your computer. Use them if you will, it's a good way to get easy access to classic games, but just know that people made these games. Even if they made them in 1987, they still need to feed their families, I guess. Unless their families are dead. It's been a long time. I don't know. Number four. For optimal playing power and maximum energy, use Mountain Dew and Doritos! Number three. This is more of a practical, life hack type of thing, but if you're a baller on a budget and you need a cool headset stand, use a banana holder. Yeah, whoa, well, now a banana holder. Listen, this is a banana holder. You can put your headset on it, and it looks really cool next to your desk. It's simple, it's stylistic, boom, there you go. If you were looking for a special way to attract the opposite or same sex, there you go, banana holder. Number two. Your eyes are your most important tool in gaming. You should do everything you can to protect them because at the end of the day, if you don't have eyes, you can't really play games as well, right? Ask Stevie Wonder. Some people swear by gunner optics to protect their eyes while gaming, some people don't, and other people use Flux to save your eyes. This is a free PC program that adjusts your computer screen's brightness and color settings to the time of day to maximize protection of your eyes. If you're sitting in front of a computer or a TV screen all day playing games and doing computer stuff like me, you should definitely maximize your eye protection. Number one. This is a big one for me. This is a big deal. Yeah, Xbox Live Gold members with Xbox One get 100 free minutes of phone and voice calls on Skype. Now, with the Xbox Connect voice controls, you make a contact on Skype called Pizza. You insert your favorite Pizza Place's phone number, and then while you're sitting there on your Xbox doing your thing, Xbox, call Pizza. Boom, there you go. You can order a pizza from your Xbox. You're welcome. I think this list is complete now. I don't think you need anything else from me. Some people have actually told me that I'm doing the work of God, and yeah, yeah, they're right. 
So those were some gaming hacks that every gamer should know. Some of them are life hacks, some of them are a bit more technical, but let me know in the comments anything you guys do to make your gaming lives easier. Do you have a cool chair? What do you do for cable management? Do you have a cool hack that you use with your computer that helps you play games? Let us know in the comments below. And like I said earlier, definitely subscribe because we're doing lists like this all the time. If you already subscribed and liked this video, we love you and we'll see you next time.